Good evening. This is going to be a completely student-led concert, but I do have one last announcement that came kind of last minute today that I want to make you all aware of. We do, we are recording tonight, and it will be available on DVD. You're selling them for three dollars. Um, if you are a cast member parent, I will send home a form sometime this week if you would like to purchase a recording. If you are not a cast member parent and you would like to order one, um, just come by the school or email your homeroom teacher or email me and we will get one to you. Okay. Hello, all friends and family. We are so excited to have you here tonight as we perform our spring musical, Ode to Eyes. We've been working all year leading up to tonight, and we hope our hard work shows. Before we end our eyes, we have a few requests. Please make sure your cell phones are on sound or vibrate. We don't mind you taking pictures and videos. As a matter of fact, make sure you hashtag them with Ode to Eyes so everyone can see what we're up to tonight. Also, make sure that the aisles are clear because we just might come and join you in the audience for a bit. Hope you enjoy the show. And welcome to O2R. We'll have an elementary school course journey through the movies and musicals that were inspired by the 1939 movie, The Wizard of Oz. Earning two Oscars for, for Best Song and Best Score, the music of The Wizard of Oz has stood as a movie musical icon for almost 80 years. To begin our journey, let's start at the very beginning. Just follow the yellow brick road. Here we go, Wahala Elementary, up to us. Oh, 
on a musical scene almost 30 years after the premiere of The Wizard of Oz. It began as a Broadway musical in 1975 and won seven Tony Awards at that first year. In 1978, it became a film starring the famous Diana Ross as Dorothy and the unfavorable Michael Jackson as the skipper. It has been brought back to Broadway twice since then. Just in 2015, it was brought back to television as the live special on NBC. It celebrates the African American culture while, while continuing to tell the story of Oz. Let's ease on down the road into the whiz.
Wicked premiered in 2003 and opened people's eyes to the early story of the Witches of the Wizard of Oz. It answers the question of why Glinda is good, Elphaba is bad and green, and the friendship they had before they went their separate ways. It celebrates being unique, being confident, and defying gravity. We hope you've enjoyed your journey through the life of the music of the Wizard of Oz. As we end with really the beginning, let's travel to the early days of the Emerald City. Here is Wicked.
myself and them no speech this year. I can't handle it. But one awesome, awesome um, line in that last song that I think is the epitome of this group is I am through accepting limits because somebody says they're so. And I think that is, could not be a more perfect quote for this group because this year there were no limits. Sometimes I pushed them a little bit of those limits, but there were no limits. They have done absolutely incredible. I am so proud of them. I love them so much. Um, I'm saving all my thank yous because y'all know me. It's waterworks up here. If you will read the back of your program with my thank yous because this is not a one-man show, believe me. Um, but I appreciate all of you for coming out and supporting the arts. Keep it up. Keep your kiddos singing. And we'll see you next year.